Whether she's playing to hundreds of people or mixing tracks alone, Alda Agustiano is helping shape Seattle's music scene. The genre that I make is electronic, and then you could put a question mark at the end of that. The Indonesian-American producer and DJ goes by Chong the Nomad on stage, where she's open for Death Cab for Cutie, Head in the Heart, and Odessa. Sometimes it's, I still have like a little pinch, a little pinch me moments here and there. Aramis Hamer uses paintbrushes to help others feel seen. Black girl magic is recognizing the, uh, the ability that African-American women have to alchemize their pain and their struggle into strength. Once a registered nurse, she discovered her vibrant dreamscapes can also heal, whether they're on canvas or in public spaces. She also shares her process in YouTube videos. My work transforms me. So I hope in the transformation of myself that it overflows to other people. You'll see Stevie Shaw's murals just about anywhere you go in Seattle. Something I love about my job is how you can like watch people interact with your work. I think it's really special. The young artist rose to prominence during the pandemic before she even turned 25. Her vibrant images raised spirits with their distinct tributes to nature, water, and Stevie's Chinese heritage. Since then, she's collaborated with the likes of Starbucks, the Seahawks, and REI. Last year, Seattle Magazine named Stevie one of the city's 25 most influential people. Kelly Neeland turns keystrokes into stunning portraits. The elementary school teacher uses her vast collection of typewriters to press symbols to paper, creating images of everyone from Eddie Vedder to Abraham Lincoln. Each piece takes 20 to 40 hours and leaves a lasting imprint. In the eyes of society, sometimes I think older women begin to feel like sometimes we're a little bit obsolete and that we're not as capable of doing things that matter. And I feel like no matter how old I get or how wrinkled I am, I'll always be able to sit at a table with a typewriter and create something that means something to people. When it comes to photography, no one's showcased our region like Pulitzer Prize nominee Robin Layton. From her work as a photojournalist to her most recent limited edition art book, Rain, she shares Northwest beauty in all its forms and hopes she inspires others to find their own creative calling. So it doesn't matter if you're full-time working in another job, find a personal project that you love and just dive in. You'll be surprised what can come from it. Thank you, Kim. If you want to find out more about this artist and their work, we're going to have that information on our website. 